Well, hello everybody and greetings from Miami, Florida, the Sunshine State. I'm riding, 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 riding with my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be. Because I'm free in my RV. Well, hello everybody, and as you can see, I'm here in downtown Miami. It is February 1st. Uh, the temperature is about 75 degrees, and yeah, we don't really get much of a winter out here. And yes, I'm rubbing it in. I know some of you are freezing your whatever off uh, up north. Uh, but uh, then again, we don't get to play with snow ever, so. Uh, there's a you know pro and con to everything anyways I, I want to talk about the RV show that just finished this is like a quick recap and I, I promised you in the last video that I, that I was gonna nominate the winner of the traveling Robert Awards or something like that but let me give you a little of, um, a context a little bit of history the first year that we went to the RV show by the way we've been, we've been going for four years in a row the first time it was in 2014 and back then we were quite infatuated with something that was called uh, the Itasca Sunstar 27N made by Guanabago and I think Guanabago is like dropping the Itasca, the Itasca brand because we didn't see that many things branded Itasca this year but anyway the Sunstar 27M we saw it again this year and at the time it seemed like the perfect RV you know nice shortish class A with three slide outs and um, we were like fixated with class A's at the moment we, we thought it would be a smoother ride and of course it has more room and, and, and more um, storage this was a class uh, a gas engine uh, class a but then to put it into context uh, and into into to scale uh, we saw one that uh, spring while we were vacationing in the four corners region you know our wild west trip you've seen that video and uh, we saw one getting out of one of the campgrounds and we said man that's that looks really big and back then we were driving a 28 footer class c and uh, and that was pretty that was even that felt even too big like we wanted to 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 ride on the on the valley of the gods and we couldn't do it with that or uh, mo most rvs wouldn't be able to make that trip anyways on our second year which was 2015 we had already purchased a mini teeny and um we weren't really looking into buying anything anymore because we already had something but then we, we thought we, we've been watching the videos from leisure travel vans you know they, they have this guy uh, dean which is one of the executives or the owners some some a guy at leisure travel vans is really it's really funny and he really sells them to you like like really well and we were thinking oh this this is perfect because it is kind of short it is it is a b plus but it's really a c without the cab over uh, but they were they were very well well built but then we realized that 25 and a half feet or so they, they, they were probably a little too big uh, to fit like in a parking spot if we were ever wanted to park it and besides that they were expensive as heck a leisure travel van serenity which was our favorite was around the hundred and fifty thousand dollars so uh, which crashed that and but that was our favorite from that year that serenities and uh, and the and the unity also was one of our favorites that that, that year but uh, well anyways <laughs> moving over to the next year uh, we started watching videos on YouTube and then we discovered the Winnebago Travado and uh, at the beginning we thought it was too small but then we went into it and and we saw one parked in a rather narrow parking space in Mount Dora Florida and we said man this is the perfect thing we could just we could just park it anywhere and we started watching videos on YouTube about van dwellers and the minimalists people and um, we thought mm, this is perfect until this year actually and we were boondocking for f uh, three and a half three four nights we were supposed to boondock but we only did three at the parking lot there at the at the super rally at the RV show and our tanks which are not that small our fresh water tank was almost empty and our uh, gray water and black water we thought it was almost full and we went back into the Travado and we saw that it's kind of cozy in there a little a little maybe too small for full timing if you will that yeah, it's like a touring van you can take it for a for a weekend vacation even for a week long but not not for full time which is which is we eventually we want to do at some point in the future enter the Wanabago trend and um, let me show you the quick video that I did of the trend at the RV show which I already published but I'm gonna 
put it here again. Okay, we're gonna have one last look at this year's uh, winner of uh, the Traveling Robert Awards, I'm gonna call it. Uh, the first year it was the Itasca Sunstar 27N. Uh, last year we were fixated on the Winnebago Travado with a honorable mention for the Heimer Grand Canyon, now the active. But this year oh, we're really into the Winnebago trend. Let's check it out. Hi. Yeah. Bye. Next time we come down here, if you buy one, you can come here. Okay, here we have the Winnebago Trend 2017-23L. It's uh, about $80,000, uh, super, you know, RV show price and it's based on the ProMaster chassis and here you have the dinette. It's very nice because you have this here you have this thing down here and you can make it into a larger uh, working area here. But one very cool thing that it has if you open this closet there is this thing here and it has a loft bed that comes down actually let me get rid of this cushion here so see if you have a actually two more people can sleep on this bed if you have a, a relative that is coming to stay with you or if there's four of you you can comfortably have someone sleeping here Alrighty. It feels uh, pretty spacious overall. I have no idea about the holding tanks because it doesn't say anywhere. This is 23L. So you can see you have the kitchen here with a sink, a little shallow, but actually you know, it has this uh, kitchen center. Hmm. So you can save water. It has a two burner stove. It has this counter extension here that if I want to put it down, I put the camera here because it is a two-handed operation. So, boom, like that. Has the corner bed in the back, the Norco, the three-way fridge. Let's go inside. It's in the smallish side, especially the the, the freezer, but it's not bad. It's, this is a convection microwave and the bathroom, which is a very important part for us. The sink is decent. It's very deep, actually. It is very nice. We had a, it's, it's a plastic toilet, regular RV toilet, and the shower is pretty good actually. This is something we would consider actually for our full time in future. This is a 23 feet long, which is a little longer than a regular parking spot, but this should work quite well. And it has a, I didn't show you, but it has a pretty good storage inside and outside. Yeah, what a big trend about it. Hopefully in a couple of years uh, you'll see our videos with us traveling in one of these Okay, besides everything that I told you on that video, I do believe the Winnebago trend has um, pads like for or at least the option for heating pads for the holding tanks and a bunch of other things that we like we don't really like that big dinette with seats on both sides we like that it's that both seats are facing the front and then there's we like the table set up quite a bit we've heard some complaints uh, from people who say that that they've experienced leaks from the roof and uh, that's that's a big deal breaker if that happens so i hope Winnebago is working on those issues and and getting that fixed the nice thing about the trend also it is 24 feet long which is it's longer than a regular parking space a regular parking space is actually 19 feet but uh, you can still back it up into pretty much any any shopping center parking space and it kind of fits it, it's 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 nimble and small enough that you can that there is maneuverable enough that you could even uh, you know ride in the, in a big city which is a good thing for us because that's uh, one of the things that we intend to do in the future honorable mention by the way to the phoenix uh, class c the phoenix cruisers they have only one slide but they're very usable with the slide in and we liked uh, those a lot of course 
the perfect RV doesn't exist. You know, we would like the, the space inside of a, of a class A with the outside of a class B. And um, well, that's the loss of physics. Let's get into reality here. We, we'd, we'd like a floor plan, like what you have with the trend, but maybe with the lithium batteries that come with the, some of the road tracks, and maybe with a Truma or an Aldi water heater, and maybe the one-piece fiberglass shell that the, the, the use, that Coach House uses. So there you go. That's our wish list. Uh, how about that diesel generator that some of the road tracks have under the hood? You know, they use like the engine. I don't know exactly how it works, but some of those innovations we'd like to see one company embrace all of them, and then that would be perhaps the perfect RV for us. Ah, lots of solar in the roof too, by the way. Yeah, we love solar free energy. Okay, as a conclusion, I don't want to make this video too long. Uh, we've been to the RV show four times, so I don't think we're going to go for a while. I mean, we have, we've had our, our feel of the Tampa RV Super Show. I think perhaps uh, the, next, the next RV show will go perhaps uh, Quartzsite. I don't know. Seems to be the place where everybody who wasn't in Tampa uh, was uh, this uh, uh, past uh, couple of weeks. I would also like to thank all of you who got in touch with me and, and we met at the RV show. That was super, super great uh, meeting some of you and, and, and sharing your stories and my stories. And um, it was great. And I want to thank profusely all of you who have ever uh, bought a sticker or bought a CD or donated anything to my channel. It really helps. Every little bit helps to, to continue. Uh, making these videos and having these uh, adventures around the United States and hopefully many other countries in the world. Until the next time, from Miami, Florida, this is Traveling Robert, signing off. good things come to an end. But before you go, if you liked it, do me a solid and give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, remember to subscribe if you haven't and check out my other videos. You can also visit the blog at travelingrobert.com, join the mailing list and follow me on social media at travelingrobert. As always, thank you so much for watching and see you on the road. Riding with my RV